What's up Star Wars fans? This is Darth Watson and in this video I want to address something that Tony Gilroy made a response to the toxic side of the Star Wars fandom who basically claimed that any bad idea made under Lucasfilm was because of Kathleen Kennedy which if that is that but none of that stuff has ever been supported by facts and um, Kathleen Kennedy has actually done a lot for Star Wars and seeing her interview she has not shown one ounce of disliking dis disliking Star Wars and wanting to ruin your childhood like people claim people claim that that Kathleen Kennedy wants to ruin your childhood even though she's worked on every successful film that came out back in the 80s and for people who grew up in the 80s enjoyed those films and it probably inspired their childhood so I don't know how you could say that about Kathleen Kennedy after all that work that she's put in not every bad decision in Lucasfilm is because of Kathleen Kennedy that's a bunch of BS that some people are saying that and um, George Lucas like jo George Lucas asked Kathleen Kennedy to take over he didn't, she didn't steal Star Wars from George Lucas. And you know, these YouTubers that are known as the Fandom Menace, which are Ryan Kennel, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, and then we also get, uh, we also get, like, Neurotic, uh, Drunk 3PO, and all those people that are just on the far right, and, like, too far right. I mean, those people that are brainwashed by, by the too far right, and stuff like that and it's just like these people are so toxic like they just they want to complain about everything they complain about these new Marvel films and these new Star Wars films like their lives depend on it and they think that's gonna make Lucasfilm and Marvel change their decisions which in reality it won't in reality it won't I mean personally um, I, I wasn't a big fan of how the sequel, how the Rise of Skywalker turned out, but I moved on from it. And when I read the no, when I read the novelization to the Rise of Skywalker, um, I felt redeemed for, redeemed from it, and I started to under I started to understand it more. I mean, the Rise of Skywalker really confused me, and that's what I didn't like about the Rise of Skywalker. But I moved on from that, and. If you hate if you hate the new Star Wars movies, why not just move on from it? I mean, there are things that I don't like, but I don't I don't make daily vlogs complaining about it like my life depends on it. I mean, it's okay to have your opinions on whether or not you like whether or not you like any of the new Star Wars movies or not. But don't be making daily daily vlogs like complaining like your life depends on it because it's not worth your time it really isn't but anyways like I just wanted to get that out there is that there's these group there's these groups of group of youtubers called the fandom Metis, also overlord DVD as well and Mike Zero Mike Zero be posting five videos a day and all of its garbage and it, it's all sounding like it's made up and um, anything he's got to say sounds like it's made up. It's all pure made up garbage. And Overlord DVD likes to report on other people's stuff and claim it as his own, which is known as a copyright infringement. And I wouldn't be surprised if within the next year or two, because we're seeing a lot of crackdowns in our society on crime and the feds coming after the CEO from crypt crypto, I wouldn't be surprised if Overlord DVD within the next year gets a copyright infringement and they take down his channel for basically reporting what other people are saying and claiming it as his own work. But I've rambled on quite a bit about these people. That's why I don't associate myself with the fan the menace. I'm not I'm not on the I'm not I'm 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 not with the Star Wars fandom. I'm not on the far I'm not on the far right or the far left. I'm not on on either side. I just basically speak what my opinions are on Star Wars and give you guys updates, but I don't make daily vlogs like trying to try, 
like I don't make daily vlogs complaining about the new Star Wars and the new Marvels and stuff like that on how woke they are just just like my life depends on it because I got better things to do than to make vlogs complaining about stuff like that like my life depends on it.